Taylor joining us now from LDS Hospital. She's a registered dietitian, and we're talking about portion control and already joking about it during the break because there are some common household items that can help you be better at how much you are putting on your plate. Yes, lots of controversy around this. <laughs> <laughs> but something I want to point out is this is a jumping off point. This is a good place to start. Obviously, if you're a larger person or you're exercising, you're more active, it's okay to do larger portion but sizes. But Ali, have this. our portions as Americans gotten bigger and bigger and bigger over the years? Oh, yes. In the past 30 years, I would say portion sizes have probably quadrupled. Now, now I get the Cafe Rio mm -hmm. salad and I'm like, I have to, that's for me, <laughs> for right now. I, that's all of it. When really a salad plate should be about how big? Oh, a lot. A typical salad plate is probably going to be about six to eight inches in diameter. All right. How much can our stomach hold? So this, so our stomach can hold about four cups worth of food or more, right? So right. a lot of people can expand beyond the point of four cups, which is not really a good thing. You don't want it to do that kind of stretching. No, you don't. All right. So if you're looking around going, how much of this, that, or the other should I take? What can you use to measure? Okay. So first of all, you can use measuring cups, but I like to think of household objects, especially when you're out and about. So a baseball is about mm -hmm. the size of a cup, okay. okay? A cup is a good frame of reference for things like your fruits and your vegetables, for things like french fries or chips or even pasta, you want to stick to about a cup. Did you say chips? <laughs> How many of us have a cup of chips in one sitting? Which something to keep in mind, too, is that we tend to eat in units. So we're gonna eat 90% of what's in front of us. So yes, if you start off with a much larger unit than a cup of chips, you bet you'll it's eat more so than that. It's so true, if you take the bag over to the couch, like you played a whole baseball game. Like you're just, <laughs> you're just adding Nine on innings. Yep. So if you only give yourself this portion, then hopefully you'll stick mm -hmm. to that portion. Yes. What about the light bulb? Okay, light bulb is about a half of a cup. So use that when you're looking at something like rice or a potato. Um, you could do this for lentils or ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good frame of reference, even for something that has a little bit more sugar like grapes. Didn't even think about that. The light bulb is half a cup. Yeah. Okay, good idea. What about the deck of cards? Okay, deck of cards is about three ounces. And we've all heard this before, that three ounces is a good portion size for meat, right? So chicken or beef or pork, about that thickness. But you can also use that if you're thinking about getting a piece of cake, that this is a good jumping off point. I'm that person with the cake that says, I'll just have a bite, and then 20 deck of cards <laughs> later, I've had a lot. <laughs> of cake. Yes, it's eat well, and that's the thing is it's so easy to go overboard with portions. And it can take us 15 to 20 minutes to recognize that we feel full. So I tell people start off with these, wait 15 minutes, and if you still want more, then you go back, but it's a very conscious decision. So 15 to 20 minutes, yep. and then your stomach hopefully will say, take a little less next yep. time. What mm -hmm. about the golf ball? Golf ball. This is about a quarter of a cup. So use this for things like dried fruit, or use this for nuts, or even sour cream. Just a dollop. Like that's a, those things a, a that you dollop. dollop. Yeah. I thought nuts were good for you. I was thinking nuts like a bigger portion. So nuts are really good for you. And I think that's the hard part. So we're looking at this is it's not just because it's a small portion doesn't mean that they're bad for you, but nuts are packed with calories. It's calories from good fats so that are really good for your heart. that out as you're taking the bigger exactly. portion. Exactly. Okay, um, we're getting to the one most depressing thing of all. <laughs> <laughs> the dental floss. And it's not, I mean, we're not talking about this, no, right? At least. No, not a, not a string of dental floss, okay, but, but the what, package. What size is this? Okay, we're looking at about a two inch square for things <gasps> like chocolate and for brownies. That's a bite. That's a cake bite. But that's a brownie bite. <laughs> and that's really? why. But the thing is, it's again to to taper ourselves so that we have just a taste of it's so dessert. It's good to think about though, because I mean, who? No one's taking this size a right. piece. You are taking so much bigger. What about the poker chips? Okay, poker chips. So use this one poker chip is about a tablespoon. So you can use this as a frame of reference, right? So thinking about doing your cookies like about two poke, size of two poker chips. All right. Um, or doing things like a poker chip for peanut butter or salad dressing, oil, butter, really keeping portions in check. So all of you out there that have been using this for a lot of different, <laughs> like I said this for guacamole and you said no, the, that's the poker chip. Again, in the same boat of the nuts, right? The mm -hmm. really healthy, good, healthy fats, but a lot, a lot of calories. Something to think about everybody yes. as you head into lunchtime. If you need more information on healthy eating, you can always go to ldshospital.org slash healthy living or go to our website, goodforyoutad.com slash GTU. So there's cake in the kitchen today. <laughs> <laughs> Allie and Brian, this is the size of your piece. This is what you get. I'd love to see you stick to that size.